Hello and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be showing you Smartsheet forms with conditional logic and I'm going to be showing you how you can build these from scratch if you haven't used them before, some of the benefits in doing so and some tips and suggestions along the way and hopefully that will ensure that you get the data you need from your stakeholders and end users. So as you can see here I've just created a very very basic sheet. We've got a few different columns in here uh, and different column kind of types. So we've got a date column here, a single drop down column here, and some, some free entry columns as well where someone can just enter kind of any text that they wanted. Um, now, first and foremost, it's important to show you how to create a form. I mean, you, you probably have used a form in Smartsheet be before, but if you haven't, it's all available from the forms button at the top. So you, you essentially click that and then you create a new form. If you've created forms in the past, they will appear in the Manage Forms section. And as you'll see, I haven't so far, so that's why it's kind of blank. Um, if you click here, it's got the same kind of uh, functionality as the, 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 the Create Form button. So we click that, and as you'll see, our form has been created instantaneously. Smartsheet is great like that. It just kind of pulls in all of the different columns that it can find in the grid, and you've got your form created by default. Now, there's a lot of different customization options. Now, of course, you, you probably won't be, you know, entirely happy with the form that it brings up. Um, you might want to, you know, change, for instance, the, uh, the logo and some of the formatting. Um, and you might not even want all of these different columns in the form itself. And, and you can even remove, you know, you can remove these out. So you, you kind of left click and drag it away if you didn't want that in there, for instance. Um, or you can you can move the kind of the order as well if you left click and kind of drag down um, you know that's one of the other things you can do and there's a lot of options on editing these different fields and we're going to get into that in a moment but I just wanted to show you you know how to create a form first and foremost so let's save that we've saved it and here we go here is our customer feedback form. I'm just going to open it to show you what it looks like. So this is what the end user would get if you were to share the URL. So I'm just going to quickly go through and enter some more dummy data just so you get an idea of, um, you know, how this would work for someone who is coming in um, and, um, you know, entering the form. And thankfully, Bob Ross is doing it for us today. So we're going to submit success of catching your response. So all being well if we refresh this sheet so i've gone back to the underlying sheet refresh this and it will appear at the bottom so here we go bob ross he's been there for the first time and he's very satisfied with the quality not so much with the delivery time so there's our form so now if you wanted to go back and edit that existing form we would click the manage forms button and here we go and here here is the option so that would open up the form again to see what it looks like and then we have these three little icons here that enable us to change the properties, maybe deactivate it so that if someone end, you know, opened the URL, they couldn't access the form anymore. Um, we also got the ability to edit it and that's what we're gonna be doing now. So what I'm actually gonna do before I do that actually is I'm gonna create a new column and I'm gonna use that column to show you conditional logic. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna insert a new column to the right OK, and what we're going to put here is as an example, of course, so this will depend on what you need and what data you want to collect and, 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 and on your project as well. But for the purpose of this example, what could we do to improve quality? And I'm going to have that as a as a, a free text. So anybody can enter anything they like um, into this into this uh, into this particular form option. I'll press OK. So this is entirely blank, okay. So when we go back into our form, we've got our existing form. Um, I mean, you could create this from new again. Um, that's absolutely no problem um, if you wanted to do that, but I'm just gonna, for the purpose of illustration, open the existing one. Now, what you'll see is the new field has appeared on the left here. So if I was creating a new form from, from scratch, this would have already been in the list, but I actually need to add this now to our form. So what I want to do is I want to bring this down and because this is related to the, the, the question above, how, satisfi how satisfied were you with the quality? I'm gonna drop it down below there. Now, I want this to be a required field. So when I mentioned earlier, each of the different field 
um, data points or, or columns, if you like, you can change different um, settings on those different fields. So here, for instance, we've made this required. We can make the whole whole uh, form required. And what that basically means is that everybody uh, needs to um, you know, complete everything um, or they can't submit the form. So actually we won't put, no, that one's an optional, so that wouldn't make sense to be required. But anyway, you get, you get the point. So we've got this as required um, and you can also hide it if you wanted. Um, now here is where conditional logic comes in. So here, if we look at our example, how satisfied were you with the quality? If somebody, so the options, I think five is very satisfied. It, it, what could we do to improve the quality? If someone puts a five, they, they might not have any suggestions. So what we could do, and this is obviously just an example, do take all this with a pinch of salt. But what I'm gonna do is set this up and add some logic so that this field only appears when there's a poor score entered here. So what you would do is you'd click that field that you want to, to create the logic on, and then you'd click this logic button here. You're gonna get this little icon, it basically just says, you know, make sure you use the right questions to make sure that the conditional logic works and is effective for your end users. And there's a learn more button that explains it in more detail, but it's very simple to create. And I'm just gonna show you that now. You click the add logic button. Now, what we need to do here is, so when, when this field is, so you could put when it is very dissatisfied, then show the following fields. What could we do to improve the quality? Or if you wanted to do is any of, so it could be, we could do this for anything like anything under three, then show this field. And that's what I'm gonna do here. So I'm gonna add this. This is the conditional logic. We basically want to give people the option if, if, if they're given a poor score, you know, why are you given a poor score? So it's just better for data, you know, better data, you'll get better data and you'll be able to make uh, better decisions from it. So we're gonna add this. So as you'll see here, now we've got this logic button appear and we've also got this um, logic tag. So what that is basically showing is the relationship between these two. So we've got one rule set up at the moment and another benefit of, of this, of, of Smartsheet forms, is you can add as much logic as you want. So you, it can get really, really complex depending on your needs. But I'm just gonna set up this one individual um, element of logic just to show you how it works. Um, so I'm gonna save it. So we've got this in place, I'm gonna save it. Um, and as I said, all these forms are entirely customizable. So if you click the settings at the top, that will change your entire kind of form setting. So you can, you know, look at these. I'm not gonna go through these now. Um, I'm showing you conditional logic, but do look at these because you can really manipulate your forms and it can be really, really useful. So just bear that in mind and that's just at the top. But back to seeing how this conditional logic will work, I'm gonna open up the form again. So open in a new tab. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have clicked on. Oh, I can. No, it's done. There we go. This is what I needed. So I've opened up the form. So if you look here closely, that question, what could we do to improve quality, does not appear. However, when people start entering the, the data, so let's put it in for, you know, today, very satisfied, still doesn't appear because we haven't entered it as the, as the logic, you know, the, sorry, the logic hasn't been applied. However, if we put neutral, you'll see that this has appeared. What could we do to improve quality? Again, satisfied doesn't appear. That's not part of the logic. Dissatisfied, it appears. So as you'll see, this can be a really, really good way of getting additional data if and only you need it. So it, it doesn't, it reduces fluff. You won't get feedback unless you really need it. And you can set it up in a way that just gives you extra, extra clarity. Um, so I would really recommend using it and really think about what questions you ask. This perhaps isn't the best example, um, but you know, think about what you're trying to achieve in your organization or your project and tailor your questions around that. And that really is conditional logic in a nutshell. Um, that's how to set it up. As I say, it can be really, really useful. You can add multiple different um, conditional logic um, 
options you know you can add loads of different rules i should say um you know you don't just have just have one you could have several and you can really build out a useful form and you know you could even build it off of one field if you wanted you could have one field and if they didn't you know do a certain thing or partake in a certain event or it, you, you get the idea then each of the next steps of the form could come out so you it could just start with you know did they purchase yes well, were you satisfied with the purchase? Yes. And you could build the logic that way. Um, so you can create a very minimal form and build it out as much as you need. Um, I am going on. I do uh, appreciate that. I'm sorry if I, I'm, I'm rambling a little bit, but I just wanted to show you the different aspects of the forms and conditional logic. So I hope this video was useful. If it was, please do hit the like button. If you have any questions on Smartsheet or conditional um, formatting, or of conditional logic, I should say, within forms, drop a, drop a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And do consider subscribing if you are a Smartsheet user or a project manager and you um, believe you would benefit from my videos. So with that said, I hope you have an excellent day.